So the big question is this, how do investors like us who don't have a PhD in finance or millions to start investing, how do we grow our bank accounts to build real savings and retirements and yet still have the time to do what we really love? That is the question and this podcast will give you the answer. Hey guys, John Wood here, super excited today to talk to you guys about Emotional Intelligence 2.0. This book, straight freaking crazy. I'll tell you why. It learns, teaches, explains, lets you understand the number one skill in any marketplace, any job, any position, anything you do, bring value to the marketplace in creating income, creating revenue, or even creating relationships that are going to better your personal life. But it all stems from emotional intelligence. Every little piece, right? You look at any aspect of what this book talks about, and what's so crazy is that it's applicable anywhere you look. You go from the office, home, work, parties, go with friends. Everything stands for emotional touch, your ability to connect with people. It's so, so fundamentally important and radically different from, you know, a lot of people, they see emotional intelligence and they think, oh, it's just like intelligence quotient, right? But it's so different because intelligence quotient, you know, it, it's all up here, right? But emotional intelligence, it gets spread out everywhere, right? So with IQ, it's just like your mind and what you know and how you can do it and, you know, all the questions you can answer and how well you answer them, which is super cool, right? And super important, shows statistics, shows growth. Like, that's awesome, right? I used to love, love, love IQ tests. I was like... 13, 14, 15, I was like, oh my God, I'm doing so well on this little IQ test because it gives you a feeling of significance, which is very, very, very important. It's a concept talked about in here. The ability to perceive yourself as valuable to others by giving them value, making them feel significant, allows you to increase your standing with them, allows you to increase your positioning, value, anything you desire, all from this one ability to have that emotional intelligence to be able to connect with people. Now, I really wish I had this book like three, four, five, six years ago um, when I was just starting out, you know, working minimum wage and getting in front of people for the first time ever because I had no friends, right? And the reason I had no friends, you know, my IQ was pretty, was pretty you know, it was okay. Um, I didn't have emotional intelligence though. And so what I did, I went out the hard way. I worked and worked and worked. I was trying to figure out like all these ways to get in front of people, talk to people. And then after I stopped working, I started trading stocks. What was really interesting is I found emotional intelligence. I read this book and I read it after I read Think and Grow Rich. And I'll leave the Think and Grow Rich review below. That book, absolutely insane. Changed my life. I read that and then I read uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I'll link that one below too. Those two books are like together the greatest two combos ever. I mean, that's why I'm making courses around them. I mean, they're amazing. So I read those two books and then I read Emotional Intelligence. And I, and I was thinking like of connecting this with Dale Carnegie's book. And, um, and I think you're real rich in how they both kind of interweave the principles in here, but at a much, much, much higher level. So what they were looking at was like, these are the principles, the foundations. This is, you know, emotional intelligence, goal setting intelligence, long-term growth intelligence, the sex mindset intelligence. Um, but what they never really, really got into was the deep, deep application of emotional intelligence and then using that to grow, succeed, and create the relationships necessary uh, for, for fulfillment in your life, right? It's such an important concept that I don't think is really taught about. Anyways, this idea that like life, you know, it, it's kind of tough if you don't have those quality relationships. And the best way to foster those in the fastest manner possible is to develop your emotional intelligence so you can really, really connect with people that one-on-one -on -one level. It's a very, very powerful concept. And it's something that I, I really think is the number one factor behind like, you know, I'll just go talk to people, talk to people, talk to people, and then connect, right? And build those relationships really, really quickly. And it's like that skill that I don't think is talked about very much, but it's very, very important. And it's your individual ability to connect with someone in a span of two, three or four minutes, completely get in sync with them by using the tactics in this book, and then make them care by giving value you know, entice them, say, hey, look, my goal with every conversation I go into is to make that person so happy, so excited, so overjoyed by talking and speaking and communicating that they like pull out their phone and they say, look, you got to put your phone number in here because we got to talk business or something soon, you know, um, or just connect, have fun, whatever. You know, it's whatever you desire, 
with new relationships, with established relationships. It all stems from this ability to connect people that isn't taught anywhere. It sucks. Um, and that's why this book is so freaking crazy. Now, I bookmarked a couple of really, really, really powerful pages in here. Um, there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff here. But something that really stood out to me was when they were looking at uh, a study they did with like 500 guys and girls. And it was in like corporate America, right? So you're looking at like employment, jobs, salaries, wages, benefits, stuff like that. And that's obviously a representation of the underlying value created in the marketplace by these individuals, right? So, uh, you know, more cash, more value, more significance, more development, more success, whatever it is that they're doing. So what they did is they went through the study and they found at different companies in different roles based on different genders, different levels of emotional intelligence based on their questionnaire that they do. So HR, woman, a little bit higher EQ than, you know, salesman. Um, sometimes and sometimes not. And sometimes you could see a direct correlation between sales and emotional intelligence because they go together, they rise together, they succeed together. It's a very powerful concept. And what they looked at really was the difference between points between the people that responded. And what was really, really interesting is that those who responded with a higher emotional intelligence, by matter of fact that they had that intelligence, naturally had a salary uh, I think it was about $2,000 more per year per emotional intelligence, emotional quotient point, um, which was like 20 grand. So just by investing their time, their energy, their experiences, and a lot of times it's just incidental. They accidentally develop social intelligence. That skill and attribute as a person came through past academics, past you know history, experience, and stemmed out as an extension of them that allowed them to increase their value in the marketplace and demand a higher pay, which is really, really, really cool. It's interesting to see that. Um, and that was just like one of the really, really powerful things here. Um, and it all comes back to this idea that they talk about, about treating your feelings as good or bad and then picking the best way to align your life with them. Now, this is just one very, very small concept that they elaborate on here. But I think it's really powerful because it captures a lot of the essence of many more of these principles. And it all comes down to their Per, you know, your like ability, right? To take in situations, take in environments, take in uh, the world around you and then process and process. And obviously you're gonna have thoughts, you're gonna have emotional reactions. Um, but the goal really is to take it in as good, to take it in as happy, to take it in as successful, right? They found that there was such a huge difference. I mean, think about it, right? Like if you're in the office and you spill some coffee and you've got an intern on one side and a clerk on the other side, the clerk, is like super mad. He's like, oh my God, the market, the carpet spilled. This is terrible. The world's going to end. And it's just totally, totally inappropriate reaction. And then the other side, you know, you got this intern. He's like, hey, let me help you with that. I'll grab you some towels. Who do you think has more emotional thought? And then he says, thank you, Nancy, for your help. You know, addresses you, makes you feel significant, makes you happier with your state of being. Every internal aspect of yourself just grows and expands and succeeds because this guy, what, he's got more emotional intelligence, right? It's this difference. It's very, very subtle and it's not talked about ever. And it's not often highlighted as an attribute for hiring or, or partnerships or entrepreneurship, you know, whatever you want to do to, you know, create income and bring value to the marketplace. Something that's very rarely talked about is this idea that like, if you can communicate and connect with people better because of a higher emotional intelligence, you can express more value to them and therefore have a higher level of success, a higher level of income, a higher level of achievement. Anything you desire is significantly easier to get to once you have that emotional intelligence. It fundamentally shifts your positioning, your level of respect, everything that you desire, right? is out there. But it's this question of, do you wanna walk up the stairs slowly or do you wanna get on the escalator that's gonna take you there in five seconds flat? And that's really what emotional intelligence does because obviously you have to build the stairs, you have to build the escalator, you're gonna build one or another. Um, and that a lot of times is through you know, your background, your experiences, your growth. But to really get there, to start running up those stairs or walking up stairs or getting in that escalator and pushing the button, what do you have to do? You have to master that emotional intelligence that allows you to stand up on two feet mentally, get in front of someone, 
hold out that hand, shake it and say, hey, you are significant and I can handle this social situation with my high emotional intelligence. And because I'm displaying value in this situation outside of the workplace, I therefore will bring you significantly higher value later in the market. Very powerful concept, something not often spoken about. And it's just insane to see um, it documented so, so, so well in this book. I think they also give you like a free assessment, which is sweet. You can take the emotional intelligence appraisal uh, when you grab your copy, which is awesome. Um, and really, I think the point here, you know, it's at six, six proven strategies. It's all about increasing your emotional quotient. And I've seen it myself um, as I went from like being a total, you know, broke $7 an hour minimum wage to now trading stocks, making, you know, <laughs> I don't even know any hours um, a lot, you know. How you get there is based entirely on your ability to increase your emotional intelligence, increase your emotional quotient. Um, as my income grew, as my value grew, the emotional skills I had grew. It would all happen at the same time. Uh, and that was really, really what allowed me. Let's cut that. I just don't like the uh, at the end. And I got to think about what to say after allowed me. Allowed me, allow, I don't know, allow me to write 90 new shirt. Why not? Let me go in. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. Let me go into the marketplace. Freaking get stuff done in, in financial markets. Right nine to noon and absolutely crush it. So I hope you guys take this, apply it, snag your copy of this. It is insane. Not taught anywhere. And it's just the most valuable skill. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hope you're having an amazing day. Go out there, crush it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Want more stock market secrets? If so, go get your free copy of my best-selling book, 9 to Noon. You can get your free copy plus $11,176 of unannounced bonuses. It took me years to uncover completely for free at 9 to Noon Secrets.com. Inside 9 to Noon, you'll find the top 38 secrets you can use to double your portfolio every two years and make upwards of 10% per trade daily.